Hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your March reading. We are going to look at you guys because you know what? You have a wish being granted. Now, what I'm seeing is this is something you've been waiting for 3-4. This could be three to four months for some of you. It could be three to four years. Others of you, it may be 30 to 40. All right. But this is an actual something you've been wanting. It's like you are manifesting it in the month of March. So welcome. We are doing something a little bit different this month. We're do I created a spiritual balancing board where I'm bringing in everything that I do for my clients in private session. And we're going to do it right here on this channel. So you guys, we have the challenge right here. We have the optimal, the most positive outcome that we can get to find any way possible to get you to that wish. That's what we're going to do. We're going to look at all the chakras, all right? I have the crown chakra, all of them around. This is your circle of completion, all right? This is your circle of power. So let's go ahead and start with your challenge for the month of March. That is the two of pentacles, and that is saying that you're balancing things right now. Balancing things back and forth. This could be juggling money, juggling two different jobs, going from one job to pick up your kids to, you know, single parents. I get it. You know, I was a single parent. Juggling a lot of stuff for some of you, um, but whatever it is, you're going back and forth. Okay. The challenge is going to be managing everything. It might be quite a struggle for you right now to do this. However, it is doable. It is doable. And in the tarot itself, we have the next one is the uh, three of pentacles. You, you might hear my dog in the background, Captain Lovebug. He's a little antsy. He wants to go for a walk. All right. The optimal, the most positive outcome is right here, the king of pentacles. So this is an offer, an opportunity that is very secure that's going to help you stop going back and forth stop going from one job to another you're going to get some help let's put it that way whatever you have on your plate is going to be changing by the end of the month now we're going to take a look at all of your chakras and if there's something being blocked i'm going to help you right here on the channel to hopefully get that removed or start moving that energy around so we're going to start with your uh, crown chakra. I was going to say sacral chakra. And some of you are going to be very creative. I'm just saying. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at your crown chakra. All right, amethyst, beautiful purple. These stones are amethyst stones. And you have the four of swords. This is your connection to source. This is your connection inside of you to your higher power. Our own personal higher power is what directly connects us to source. We don't have to go through anyone ever. We can do it on our own. Now, this is saying you are tired, okay? You are very tired. You might be a little bit uh, mentally fatigued right now going through whatever you're going through. This challenge is really weighing you down in your mind because remember, we connect to source through our mind, all right? So it's time for you to relax if you've been learning a lot, if you've been going to school and juggling a job and juggling a family, oh, I've been there too. That is hard to do and it will be exhausting. You've been a little bit too tired. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do a breathing exercise right now because we want to create this openness for you to connect to source because that is your key thing in the month of March making sure that you are connected to the universal energies, making certain that you can manifest what it is that you want. So you can get that wish that we're talking about in the beginning of this reading. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to uh, get in a comfortable position. If you're driving, you'll have to wait and do this later. You can listen, but do not close your eyes. I want you to sit upright, okay? When we sit upright, that pulls everything, all of those little curves, you know, the little belly flopping over our pants and all of these things that we don't like, you know, your legs are all crossed, all this. Sit in excellent posture, number one. Now, I'm going to ask you, and, and make sure you're comfortable, okay, don't be uncomfortable because that will ruin the whole thing. I want you to close your eyes and we're going to set your intention, okay? We're going to set the intention for what that wish is. What is it you want in the month of March? All right. Now close your eyes and take a deep breath in through the nose. 
see your intention and say your intention to say it up, say it out, talk to the universe, send it up to the universe. What is your intention and blow it up and out, up and out, up and out. All right. Now you guys, you may have had a little bit of a hard time just really listen to this part of the video because it is key as we go forward in the video. I didn't feel the instant connection. Now, when we are working with metaphysics, when we're working with universal law, when we're working on bringing in the law of attraction, do it in threes, okay? And the basic foundation is set your intention, number one. But you must have faith that what you sent out there is on the way. And we'll get back to that in a minute because we're going to look at any other chakras that need a little movement. And we're going to do this uh, another exercise. So right now we're going to take a look at your third eye chakra. That's a little psychic inside of you. That is your intuition. Now look what came out. The nine of pentacles. Beautiful. So you may be feeling very heightened in your senses. You can see it. You can see your wish. You know something's coming for some of you, but yet you may not even be able to see the detail. You just have this feeling. You're feeling good. When it comes to being able to connect and to get visions and and uh, the images, the synchronicities, you're getting the whole picture of how we really work in conjunction with the universe. Bravo. That's really good. So I don't feel you need anything in this area. Obviously, we have to work on it. There's little left because you have one more pentacle to come in, but that's okay. This means you're doing really well. This picture is showing somebody standing there. Okay, you may be a consultant. You may be an actual holistic healer, but that doesn't mean we don't have blockages. We do. It doesn't mean we, for, uh, you know, once we learn it, boof, everything falls into place. It's something we must practice all the time. Connecting to source is easy. Staying there. Now that's a different story. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at your throat chakra. I feel some of you, <clears throat> you have something you need to say. There you go. That's it. The five of swords. Inner conflict. Conflict with people around you. You may be involved with situations that are extremely dramatic wearing you out and toggling you back and forth your challenge is going to be to overcome that and you're going to have to speak something out now that doesn't mean you have to directly speak to that person but you will need to clear out that throat chakra okay now i feel there's another chakra blocked we're going to take a look and i have a feeling it's your sacral chakra because nothing happens by chance in my readings and that word came out when I was talking about this one. So hang tight. We're going to do another clearing in just a minute. Uh, another breathing. I mean breathing. Um, which will help clear some of that energy out. All right you guys. Whoever you're in conflict with. Um, I feel that you can see it. You know when they're going to do it. All right. If you're dealing with somebody who's really toxic. You can tell when they're coming down the street. You can feel when they're going to flip on you. Okay. It might even be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. It might very well be this King of Pentacles. Hey, they go back and forth. Like they have a little bit of a bipolar personality. Okay. Whatever it is, it's creating a lot of toxicity in your mind and it's wearing you out. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at your heart chakra. I feel your heart chakra might be closed as well for some of you where you don't really, um, the love isn't there. All right. We have the eight of pentacles. You may not be liking what you're doing. Okay. The eight of pentacles is working very hard and, and putting everything you have into it. All of your resources, all of your energy, pentacles encompasses everything here on the material plane. That includes love, your home, your car, your job, your education, the clothes that you wear, the bed you sleep on, your puppies. It includes everything. So the thing about this is you're working very, very hard to open your heart up and allow abundance to come in. Now, this card is showing where somebody, there's little spider webs. You see those little spider webs? Okay. So those little spider webs are saying this person is working till wee hours of the night, <laughs> like me. You guys are working till wee hours of the night and putting everything you have in it, which is good. However, if you've got somebody toxic around you, it'll be counterproductive where you'll lose that heart. Your heart chakra will close up. Why? Because the love is being trampled on by your thinking by this person. 
okay? So keep doing the excellent work that you're doing. Do the job that you love. That's important. We're going to look at people. We're going to look at careers, projects, love, all these different things. But right now, it's all about you. You and only you can turn this wheel of completion into reality. Now, when it comes to your solar plexus, that's your feelings and your emotions. And look what we have. We have the five of cups, and that is feeling remorse and guilt and shameful, feeling like you missed an opportunity, maybe because of this, and that is creating all of this, oh, it's busy, it feels um, unstable, it feels unstable, crying, wondering, did I make the right move, am I ever going to do anything that brings me what I want? You want your wish fulfilled. You just set the intention. So let's get these open. Right now we're going to do another breathing exercise, all right? But this time what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this one, all right? Your throat chakra. And we're going to bring in your solar plexus. Your feelings and emotions need to be cleared out, all right? So this breathing exercise is very similar to the other one. However, you've already set your intention. So this one is going to include you bringing in the detail. We're going to bring in the detail, all right? Because of the inner conflict that's going on and the inability to say it is what it is, if this is a, a, let's say this is a job. It's like, you know, I'm working till wee hours of the night and I'm juggling between you and someone else and all these things around me. I'm exhausted and yet you may not have the income that you are due. Okay, you can see it, you can feel it, you know it's coming for some reason in your third eye, you see it, which is good, but yet your intentions are a little weak to bring it down. Right now we're going to work on your throat chakra and your solar plexus. You need a direct alignment from above to here on earth. All right, now sit in a wonderful position. It's going to bring in that com confidence. Sit Nice posture, and I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, and I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in, and then you're going to bring in the details. Take a deep breath in through the nose. See the details, see the colors, see the shapes, see where it's at, where are you, what is going on around you. See the detail and blow it up and out, up and out, all right. You always want to blow it up to the universe. You never want to blow it down underneath your feet. Because when you're doing this breathing exercise, you're pulling some of this toxicity out. All right? When you do that, you're getting grounded and centered and connected. So if we get connected, we're eliminating not all. We're not completely clearing everything out in this session right now. But we are definitely getting you in motion and showing you how to do this on your own. We want to make sure above connects with below. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to your sacral chakra. And uh, I just feel like something's there. Passion, excitement, drama. I don't know, you could even be addicted to drama, right? We have the king, I mean the emperor. And this is beautiful. Your solar plexus has to do with your life and soul purpose has to do your soul harbors in there that's your creativity that's you coming through the birthing canal the sacral chakra is a vital part of our foundation okay is very very important what you're meant to do your life and soul purpose is right here the emperor is saying that you understand, you know what works, you understand how to do it. And you may very well be working with someone else who brings in this energy, but we're talking about you, okay? You understand the universal law of attraction. Somehow, some way, you get it. Right here is saying that, okay? The cards are even saying it. You get it. You're like, yeah, yeah I kind of get it. So what's the problem, right? Something's disconnected. You're too tired. If you're too tired, then you're not working this completion circle. So bring the empowerment back in. Pull out your personal power out of your sacral chakra because that's where it comes from. That's where it comes from. 
that is one of the most powerful chakras. I mean, they all are. But from my perspective, from my guides, when I work with people, this is the place that can create anything right there. All right. So let's take a look at your root chakra. What is going on there? And you have, for traditions and values, uh, your morality, your, you know, like everything underneath you, your family, your heritage, all of these things that build the foundation of our character, okay, is kind of like here. This is you holding on to, and let's say you used to celebrate Christmas holiday, and this year you didn't. Well, that would be a heavy burden on you because you didn't get to do what you always did. So if we're stuck in that emperor mode who knows how to do things but yet is not willing to try anything different, they carry a lot of stubbornness with them. All right. There's a lot of a burden when it comes to your family, when it comes to following what you used to do. It doesn't feel right. And let me say, Capricorn, a lot of people, it does not feel right anymore. Things have changed. We've changed. You've changed. Our world that we build around us, you know, our little circle of people, our home, all of these things have changed. So, so has this. And it's too much burden. And it's time for you to let it go. Now, the beautiful thing is, is in the month of March, by the end of the month, you're going to let go of this. You're going to roll that into a ace of wands. That is passion, creativity, sensuality. Oh, baby, you are going to be on fire. And that's what I feel you need. You're so tired. You can't bring in that passion. The passion is what puts the drive right here. All right. So let's look at this last and final chakra. This one is just a clear quartz crystal. All right. Now, with this one, this is ending the month and what you are moving into the month of April with. I will give you the most positive outcome. I'll give you everything, uh, you know, positive and negative. But we want you to start the month of April in a high note. We want to turn this over. A lot of you guys are, you see it, you know it, you feel it, but you are dealing with a lot on your plate. You want your wish to come true. There it is right there. It comes from here, you guys. That means you have enough power within you to actually make it happen. So let's see what this is saying for you. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. The sun card. Now this means you have a beautiful ending to the month, giving birth to something new, starting a new project, a new career, a new relationship. For most of you, this is healing your own self, going through and maybe booking a service with me. Remember, I'm closing them on March 10th. They will be finito, okay? I probably won't be offering them. And if I do, it'll only be to people in my newsletter so our memberships. Uh, this is you working with all of the planets right here. This is you learning to manifest in a big, beautiful way. So you're going to start April off incredible. You're going to end the month in an incredible place. Healing, growth, spiritual growth, financial growth, everything. This is And the Ace of Pentacles are the two best cards in the entire, entire tarot deck. All right, did you hear that? I stuttered, right? You see right here, your throat chakra. You have to open that up, guys. You got to get that cleared. You can book a clearing with me. Do it yourself, but get it cleared up. These have to be taken care of right here, okay? So let's go ahead and look at your uh, family. We're going to look at family. <laughs> I got ahead of the game. I did that on another reading. It's like, oh, I'm going to push through this a little too fast. All right, Capricorns, I hope you guys are doing well. I want to hear your comments on this board. This is a great way to do a combination of everything. I'm not a traditional tarot reader, as you know, but those messages that I get, the tarots match them, all right? They somehow usually match. The Ace of Pentacles, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. This is a new offer. This is what you wish. You're wishing for this. So if you're trying to manifest money, come from here, all right? Come from here. But you don't want to lose the money. You want to make sure that this opportunity, this income, this new pinnacle of resources stays with you. You got something big coming right in in that first week of the month. It's going to be great, you guys. It's going to be good. And now look at that. All right. Whatever's coming in for you is amazing. 
And if you are in these low vibrations right here, okay, these low vibrations, too tired, this Eight of Swords is saying you may not know what to do with that offer. You may not accept it because you can't find a way to take that. If this is a full-time job and you have two other jobs, you, you may not be able to understand how can I do three. But if this is the Ace of Pentacles, it may be enough to let go of one of the other ones. You're going to know what's going on in your life where this is an incredible opportunity that you probably will not want to miss because this is the year of karma. This is clearing out our karma, clearing all this stuff out. You want it gone so that this comes in and this comes in. Remember, Ace of Pentacles and the Sun card, I said, are the two best cards in the tarot deck. And they all are about life. This is about life. So let's keep going, okay? You're going to have some struggles right around the second week of the month for sure. We have the Princess of Pentacles. And this is, a, you know, this is somebody around your family that I feel keeps you trapped and stuck, okay? This person may come in right here, this Princess of Pentacles. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You have Aries. Watch the Aries reading. They had a lot of similar type energy going on. Feeling trapped and stuck in, in a situation with somebody that, you know, they're blocking your money, guys. They're blocking your money. And I feel this is somebody who who knows how to manifest. This is someone who knows how to connect to the to the source and create. And, and they're taking it from you. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I'm getting. This person is keeping you in a place of... Missed opportunities, okay? This person needs to, you need to speak up to them right there. Speak up to this person. All right, now we have the Five of Swords again. You see there's conflict going around the home environment. This may be with your very best friend. It could be with your entire family. It could be with your first family, your your chosen families, anybody around you. It may be your neighbor, okay? Whatever's going on is creating this exhaustion around you where it's too much burden, where you have regrets because of things that were said and done that were not kind. But yet here's your wish right here because you see it. You're trying to manifest it. So it's nearly there. It's just like, it's just right there. So whoever this family thing is, whatever this is going on, you really want to take a look at that. All right. You want to take a look at that. Now, we even have the two of, look at this, you got the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. We're going to take a look at career. They're blocking your resources. All right, two of wands, letting go of the past, looking toward the future, but it's a decision that only we can make. We choose our path, right? Free will. All right, let's take a look at career projects, education, whatever comes through, and see what's going on. Look at there, we got the empress. Look, empress, emperor. You've got amazing energy around you. It's like you are right there, right there to get that wish. This is an offer, an opportunity you're not going to want to pass up, all right? So whoever this is, you're going to have to speak up and either tell them, you know, whatever you need to tell them, okay? I, I can't advise that. This is, a, uh, um, you know, being viewed by a, a few hundred people. So we want to make sure that you can break free of this. You've got to break free of whoever is blocking your money, all right? Whoever is blocking this sun, the Ace of Pentacles. So it could be the Empress is here and they may be a family member, but I don't think so. I think this is somebody who really has a great uh, organization. They are a CEO of a very large company. The company has to do with microchips or software okay that's what i'm being shown right now now it can be any company all right but that is what i'm being shown let me uh know in a comment if that's one of you guys um i want to hear it i want to hear your comments all right we have the six of cups this is something you dreamed about whatever it is this is something you want remember your wish is coming true so with the six of cups is happy fond memories of the past some of you, it may be a corporation that you were involved with because I do feel it's a big, uh, a, a, it's not really medium, but it's large, but not huge, okay? 
I don't feel they're necessarily international, but it is a very concrete and stable organization. But this may be a dream opportunity coming through. For some of you, this is a school, okay? This is your education. You're going to learn from a university. You may be in up in uh, mature age, but you're going back to school. It's something you saw yourself doing when you were younger, but you may not have gotten that opportunity. And that may be where the toggling comes in, okay? This opportunity is going to be great. And you have to make sure that everything is clear. Look at that abundance all right so you have an offer an opportunity something coming in some of you this is cleaning um you, trash okay like by the side of the road so this is like a project where they're showing me it is near the ocean it is the no it's a lake it's a lake it's near a lake but it's like trash around the lake not in the lake you're not in it but it's around it so i feel you're going to go around and clean up uh, maybe campsites, clean up the forest, clean up whatever that is near that lake, all right? Um, not the ocean, okay? Abundance is being handed to you. This is coming through as an opportunity you're not going to want to pass up. But if you're too tired, if you're exhausted, if you can't connect to source, you may miss the opportunity. So how does that make sense if your third eye is doing great? Your third eye is your psychic inside of you. This is your heightened senses, intuition. Because if you are open here, it will allow you, like if you were a holistic healer, you can heal other people, but you may not be able to do it for yourself. Okay, so there is a difference between the two. So let's keep going. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Education, certification. Uh, it's not even a certification. This is like getting your degree right here. This is a big project that has to do with a county, uh, a city organization. And you guys, uh, some of you, it has to do with a bank. No, they're saying financial institution. A financial institution. You're going to know how that resonates with you because it's going to be in your life, right? It's going to be in your world. So this is absolutely amazing, but we do not want you to pass this opportunity up. Your wish is getting ready to come true. So let's take a look at love, L-O-V-E. We have whether you are in a relationship, single, or you really don't care about love. It may be self-love. This is love. All right. So we have the Empress right here. Beautiful, beautiful. This is you completing your inner circle when it comes to relationships. Like you understand it. Remember, part of these are good and part of them aren't. And they aren't because you just can't stay in that connection. So as you move forward through the month, you're really going to see it. This might be your relationship, um, you know, second or third relationship. But this one is going to be great, whether you are in one now or not. It is going to be perfect. If this is self-love, this is you mastering, mastering self-love. And I feel it was quite a feat for you to get there, right? All right, we have the, <laughs> look at that. I love this. You have the Knight of Pentacles, all right? And that Knight of Pentacles is saying somebody's coming in that's going to be really the perfect partner for you. As you complete your own circle, and that's what you're doing in the month of March. It may not feel like it today, but it is moving out of all of this ick and, and actually healing it and making a difference. You're going to feel rejuvenized, energized, and you're going to become your empress within. That means whoever you're with or whoever you are, are attracting to you is going to be so worth it. Something you've been waiting a very long time for. This particular individual could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be a Sagittarius. We have a lot of different zodiac signs here on the board. Leo is definitely here. Aries is here. But one thing's for sure with this, it, it's slow for a reason because you had to go through this in your life in general. So right now you've got somebody coming in and this is going to be a secure opportunity. It's going to be worth it. So if this is fixing and repairing your relationship, you've been through a lot of struggles with it, you're going to heal it by the end of the month. The two of you are going to rebond because you know who you are today. You may have lost sight of who you are, like lost your identity. 
So your identity is back in track. Now, the romance card we have for you is romantic feelings. And for a lot of you, I really feel this is like somebody new that's bringing in this excitement. Remember, I said there's like passion here, right? So it's like this inner um, excitement. You want to feel alive because you're bored. You want to feel alive because you're exhausted. You want to go roam and have fun and and go to the lake. <laughs> go to that lake that I saw. The romantic feelings are going to be undeniable, all right? And you may not have met anybody for a really long time. Um, even if it's your own partner, you may not have had romantic feelings for them for a very long time. But the month of March is changing everything. Your wish is coming true. Not because I say so, because those of you who put the effort in and you clear out these chakras and you clear, do a reading uh, and clear this out, you are going to feel so much better and you're going to complete this and move into March right here. So you guys, I hope you have an amazing March. I'm sending you much love, light, and blessings. Bye.